be done. Gun is a western fiend third person shooter developed by Neversoft and published by Activision in 2005 for the PC, PlayStation 2, GameCube, Xbox and Xbox 360 as a launch title. At the time, western games were few and far between with Rockstar's Red Dead Revolver, released in the year prior, being one of the only few western games of that whole console generation. There really weren't that many at the time. However, Californian-based developer Neversoft Entertainment, best known for creating the Tony Hawk video game series, decided to give the genre a try with their own game, Gun. Gun was by far Neversoft's most ambitious project, as the team wanted to be the first to create a fully open-world western action-adventure game a full five years before the release of Red Dead Redemption. Neversoft hadn't made a third-person shooter since Apocalypse in 1998, which was a linear twin-stick shooter starring Hollywood actor Bruce Willis. Neversoft had also never made a fully open-world game before. They experimented with an open world in some of the later Tony Hawk games, but Gun was to be on a much bigger scale than anything they had made up to that point. The game was being developed alongside Tony Hawk's American Wasteland, the seventh entry in the Tony Hawk series. Both games were released around about the same time, with American Wasteland releasing first on October 18, 2005, and Gun releasing a few weeks later on November 8th. Both games were also released as launch titles for the Xbox 360, which were enhanced ports featuring better textures, achievement support, and the games were up res to 1080i. This was before the Xbox 360 could output a full 1080p resolution, so most of the early 360 games could only go up to 1080i. But anyway, enough on the actual history of the game, let's talk about the game itself. In Gun, you play as Colton White, or Cole for sure, a cowboy from Montana, USA in the year 1880. You start the game off hunting wildlife with your father, Ned White. This kind of acts as a tutorial showing you the controls and teaching you the basics such as how to use your rifle and how to use melee combat. This is also where you're introduced to the game's unique quick draw feature, which is where the game goes to a first person perspective and your gun instantly locks on to nearby enemies and you can shoot multiple targets in quick succession with the flick of the analog stick. This will be very useful later on in the game. You can also go into a full first person mode by clicking down on the right analog stick, but it's not like a full FPS mode or anything, it's mainly used for just sniping enemies from long distances and you won't be using it much unlike the quick draw. After the tutorial you face off against the first boss of the game, which is a grizzly bear. It's pretty easy, I mean you just kind of shoot him a bit and he's down within a few hits. After you kill the bear, this is where the main story of the game begins. Now. It's a lot more complicated than this, but I'm going to basically tell you the, the short and brief version of it. So basically, you and your father Ned get on board a steamboat, this is after the, the grizzly bear fight by the way, uh, which gets attacked by a group of bandits led by a corrupt preacher named Joseph Reed. They start killing all the passengers and start destroying the boat. After you and Ned fight off the remaining bandits, Ned tells you to go head to Dodge City to meet up with a prostitute named Jenny. This is also where, and spoiler alert, Ned reveals that he isn't actually Cole's father. He then pushes Cole off the steamboat right before it explodes, killing him in the process. He then heads off to Dodge City in order to kill Reed and his boss, Thomas Magruder, who's the main antagonist in the game. Again, there's a lot more to the story than this, but this is basically just the main plot in a nutshell. Now let's discuss the gameplay. In Gun, you have a wide range of weapons you can use, including revolvers, rifles, snipers, shotguns, and even a bow and arrow. You could also throw dynamite, and in some parts of the game, you can pick up dynamite barrels and even throw them at enemies. You can also use these barrels to break, you know, like stuff in the environment, such as rocks that's in your way, you know, stuff like that. The gameplay is like your typical third person shooter of the day. There's no targeting system or auto aim, so you have to manually aim at the enemies, which isn't necessarily a bad thing, because you have the quick draw feature. And like I mentioned earlier, the quick draw feature allows you to instantly take out multiple enemies in quick succession. As you progress through the game, you can unlock various upgrades for your weapons, or you can just straight up replace them. Like for example, at the end of some missions, you get rewarded with a new revolver or new rifle that automatically replaces the one you already have. But you can go to certain shops in like the hub world and you know pick up new guns there. 
And of course, because the game is set in the Old West, that means you can also ride horses. This will be your main way of transportation throughout the game, and some missions will even start you out on one. You have various side missions as well that you can complete, which are entirely optional. I'm personally mainly focused on just the main story missions, but they're there if you want to go for 100% completion. So overall, that's basically just a brief overview of Gun. Obviously, there's a lot more to it than that, but this is basically just to give you a good sense of what the game's all about, what the gameplay's like, the story, etc., for those who may be new to it. And overall, Gun is a very solid game, as Neversoft's first open world adventure game like this, it's a really solid first attempt. After making yearly Tony Hawk games for about seven years in a row at this point, it was definitely interesting to see the developers get out of their comfort zone and create a new IP, which is usually risky for any game studio. But luckily for Neversoft, Gun was a decent success. Over 1.4 million copies of the game were sold in just the US alone by October 2008 and Activision even greenlit the production of a sequel. This was even teased in Tony Hawk's Proving Ground, which was the last Tony Hawk game developed by Neversoft. There's a poster in one of the levels that reads, Gun Magruder's Ghost, with the tagline, Sometimes a man will shoot back, even from beyond the grave, which suggests that Thomas Magruder could have returned, possibly even as a ghost or something, in the sequel. There was even an easter egg of Gun 2 in Call Duty Ghost of All Games, which Neversoft also helped production on. However, despite all of this, and despite years of fans asking for a sequel, or even a remaster, Gun has yet to receive a sequel or any sort of new entry since its original release in 2005. Well, there was a PSP game called Gun Showdown, but this was basically just a port of the original game. It wasn't like a, a new new game or anything. No one really knows what happened, but it's possible that the game was cancelled due to Neversoft being very busy working on the Guitar Hero series during the late 2000s, which would have been around the time when Activision greenlit the production of a sequel. They also would abandon working on the Tony Hawk games after 9 years straight of releasing a new Tony Hawk game every single year from 1999 up till 2007, they eventually gave up on the series and gave the rights to Robomodo. Which by the way was an absolute terrible idea. But during this time, when they sold off the Tony Hawk series to another developer, Neversoft were busy working on the hugely popular Guitar Hero series. They would make upwards of three Guitar Hero games every year up until 2010, with Guitar Hero Warriors of Rock being the last game Neversoft would ever develop solely on their own. They would later go on and develop the Extinction Mode for Call of Duty Ghost in 2013, and after that, Neversoft merged into Infinity Ward, the creators of Call of Duty, and officially became defunct on July 10th, 2014, which just so happened to be around the time, 20 years exactly, since the company first started in July of 1994. So, will there ever be a gun too? Who knows at this point? No one seems to know who has the rights to gun, and even if they did, people would just probably label it as a Red Dead Redemption ripoff these days, even though Gun came out before Red Dead Redemption. So that was my review of Gun, in my opinion, one of the most underread games ever made, and I hope you enjoyed.